And before the moments of silence in many cities, chance of outrage on the south side. Let's go to CBS 2's Jermont Terry and Auburn Gresham, where demonstrators Jermont shut down traffic tonight. They did, uh, Erica. I should point out that St. Sabina helped organize this rally. So many people wanted to express how they felt about the Taylor case, and this rally gave them a peaceful way to do so. We are sick! We are sick! Of being sick and tired! Demonstrators led by Father Michael Flager out voicing their outrage that no officer faces charges directly in the shooting of Breonna Taylor. Because he should be charged with, with at least manslaughter. The decision to only indict one officer for firing into another apartment fuels the anger of this crowd. I'm here because I feel the pain of Breonna mother. Louise Crone among the hundreds standing in solidarity at 79th and Racine. Every life matter, but all lives matters when we are dying in our home. Flager's mission, bring traffic to a halt and at least for this moment, make people understand their pain. Brianna Taylor died and nobody gave a damn in the government and the law enforcement that she died. CTA buses stopped along with drivers. You're kind of caught in the middle of this. Do you mind? I guess I don't mind. I, I don't have a choice. Do I think it's right? What's I mean, I do understand. During the hour-long shutdown, they spelled Taylor's name in red paint, simulating the blood stains they say are on the hands of officers. This group also demanding a change in laws. Police are too protected in this country. Yeah. When police do wrong, they got to go to jail. For now, this is their way to express their frustration. It's important as a black person in America to come out here and protest. And again, a very peaceful demonstration here tonight. No word that there will be additional protests in the days to come. Reporting live outside St. Sabina, St. Sabina Church, Jermont Terry's CBS 2 News.